Don't build your computer yet. If you finally thought you were going to start, don't do it. There's something big coming next week, and you're going to want to know about this. So let's get into the video. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology. Remember to subscribe and smash that like button. We do a lot of content on what's going on with the GPU and the PC market in general. All right, so today's subject, we like to do this often, updating people, because times really have been tough, but they've been changing very, very rapidly. So today's video is why you should not build a computer yet. Wait until next week. There's something pretty big coming. And no, it's not going to be another GPU. I know everything has been centered around the mighty GPU. And rightfully so. I mean, it really is what powers what everybody wants to do. Be it gaming or even for the crypto miners or unfortunately even for your friendly neighborhood scalper. It's going to be the item that's going to be pretty much his most profitable. Now, today we're going to talk about something else that you need in your gaming PC. And that's going to be your processor. And namely, we're going to be talking about Intel's 12th generation Alder Lake. Now, generally, new Intel releases like the 11th generation have not really been all that interesting. In fact, they pretty much sucked. Like the 11900K would not recommend it. And you see how quickly the 12th generation came out. 11900K came out literally a couple of months ago, more or less near the price of what the current CPU is. Now, 12th gen Intel, this is entering a whole new field of performance, something that finally is competing with AMD. For a very long time, Intel literally sucked. Like the CPUs were not very attractive at all. Just got pretty much manhandled by AMD. Everything that AMD threw at Intel, they pretty much came out the victor. Especially with the Ryzen 5000 and the more recent Threadripper, Intel literally had nothing to answer. And that's why we pretty much recommend it. And even I, I use Ryzen 5000 pretty much for my main build. You know, with the 5950X all the way down to the 5600X mightily impressive gaming CPUs that also were really good at multi-threaded performance and content creation. Now, Intel, they have a new CEO. They recognize themselves that they were not really all that great for the consumer the last several years. Several iterations of their processors um, just pretty much had very slight bumps for the same price and nothing really, really came out that was very interesting. And when AMD introduced their CPUs at better prices, better threaded performance, and finally, even better gaming performance like Ryzen 5000, Intel pretty much had nothing to respond with. Under the new CEO, it does seem like that they're at least putting in an effort in order to put out better products. And the Intel 12th generation, it's not officially out yet. Supposedly, they're going to announce it this week sometime. And next week is when it's going to be officially released. The top end 12900K was leaked to be around $660 at Micro Center. We don't know what the official price may be. It may be $699 or it may eventually come down a little bit under 600 but as far as we know right now most likely it's going to be around that 600 dollars range it's not too bad if it can get close or even beat amd's 5950x which is still a good deal more expensive around 750 bucks we're going to have to see how the implementation of intel's technology really does versus what we currently have now with amd of course anything intel passed is going to be pretty much obliterated by their own processor so the competition here is purely whatever amd has to offer and intel in terms of their technology, they're doing things a lot different with, you know, big cores, small cores. There's a lot of different technologies going on here that's not exactly the same thing, you know, apples to apples as would be with their older tech or even comparing to AMD. So it's going to be interesting to see how they do. Even some leaked benchmarks shows that single core performance is actually really, really fantastic, even seems to beat AMD. And the multi-threaded performance gets very close as well to the 5950X. Not to mention on the laptop and mobile, it seems like some of these new Intel chips can even beat sort of the very high hyped and mighty new Apple M1 Max processors that have been pretty much getting a lot of praise in the news recently. Even though that's, you know, Apple, it's a little bit different. Still impressive if Intel can beat those CPUs because as far as we know, Apple stopped using Intel because they can produce better chips, at least according to them. So that's going to be the main reason why you should hold off until we see the reviews on these chips. They're going to most likely be released sometime next week. Who knows how the demand is going to be? Intel has said that demand is still pretty high, that many 
manufacturing issues will go out throughout you know 2022 but at least historically intel has had a little bit better supply of their own chips like throughout the entire year even though amd was sold out most of the time um, when they initially released and recently it got better with the cpus intel seemed to always be in stock now that really came down to people just not wanting to get intel because of the price to performance this may change things and while the 12900k may be the chip with superior performance i'm not saying that's the one that everybody should get we're gonna have to see the reviews and actual performance of the other ones in the lineup like the 12 700k some of these may actually really perform well and if intel can come in and undercut amd on price and beat them on performance basically this is going to be the best you can get for now until amd does their next you know iteration of the ryzen processors i'm sure by the next iteration they are going to you know beat intel again but then we're hoping intel will beat them again and that's really the beauty of this competition that's what we were missing for a long time when intel was dominant and then it switched over to amd being dominant and you did see prices go up especially with amd prices went up on most of their chips and then i'm not even talking about sort of you know secondhand scalper prices msrp prices certainly went up and of course it was warranted because they really much had the best chips on the market so now that intel is back in the game hopefully performance goes up even more and prices go down on both ends because if amd was dominant you can bet that they would start to stagnate a little bit too even though they've been more innovative than intel the last few years the companies do seem to follow a similar pattern if they're given too many years of not having any competition that's going to be regular in almost any business especially gpu and cpu type businesses so that's why wait see what the reviews are and then if you really do need a new cpu for your build of course i always recommend waiting for reviews but we do have something weird that's been happening the last year or so if you wait too long you may not be able to get your hands on one at all and by the time you see the reviews and you do want them then it's going to be a little bit too late you might have to buy them from a scalper or second hand or you may not be able to get them for the next several months we don't know yet if this is going to be the case with these intel cpus who knows exactly how many they're producing what type of demand that they're expecting but this is what happened with the amd ryzen 5000 cpus like when they initially came out if you're able to grab one whichever one especially the 5950x which is really hard to get and the 5900x it seemed like that first batch was you know for the lucky few that could get it and then it was really several months without even seeing a lot of those come in stock so we don't know yet if that's going to happen with the intel chips intel still has to prove themselves again but that's going to be what you're going to have to factor in i generally recommend waiting a little bit seeing reviews but if you really think you need it, if you do wait for reviews, there's a chance you may not be able to get it. That's really the reality. So you may have to take a gamble and hope these chips are really good. And worst case, if they end up not really being, you know, that great or lackluster, probably they're not going to go down in price very much. So you could always, you know, resell them and, you know, recoup your cost even at MSRP or whatever it is. So I don't think it's too big of a risk, but we do have to watch that closely. If it was regular times, I would say just wait a couple days and see all the reviews. But if you get a chance to pre order it and you know you want an intel chip you're ready to buy one of the new motherboards then i think it might be a no-brainer because at least now intel is bringing some innovation back and don't forget this isn't just new cpu we have a lot going on in this new intel architecture we're going to have ddr5 um, ram we have pcie generation 5 so there's a lot of stuff that's happening that's going to be generally a lot faster and more efficient um, as well as better wi-fi better networking than the previous generation but that's definitely next level now we have pcie gen 5 and things like that you can bet that all of the really powerful gpus coming out as well as nvme drives and things like that eventually they're going to start to saturate uh, you know gen 3 gen 4 gen 5 will be a lot more future proof of course right now on most motherboards you can even get away on even gen 3 but even with nvme drives that's easily saturated and you get much faster speeds on gen 4 and 5 so that's going to be a major plus to upgrading to intel i wouldn't expect the motherboards to be that cheap because i think motherboards really from what i've seen even though most people have been kind of ignoring them because of all the gpu issues they certainly have jumped up in price a lot if you look at the last generation z590 uh, intel 11th gen they were pretty expensive compared to the previous generation as well as the amd boards everything went up you know especially the nice you know asus boards and things like that msi godlike all those boards seem to have gone up in price and i would expect the same with z690 and of course they're 
bring in all those really cool boards that we usually get even like the big uh, you know high-end boards like the extreme uh, from asus so a lot of those are making a comeback with this um, intel lineup where it actually makes sense now they had some of those boards with 11th generation and even 10th generation but those chips just were not impressive at all amd was the way to go but now i think amd might actually really have some competition so very exciting because it's not only a potentially faster gaming chip maybe an attractive price we're going to have to see how it is in the actual gaming benchmarks but like i said we have a lot of new technology embedded within this new uh, chip in the motherboards like you know the new uh, dddr for for ram the new pcie generation 5 a lot of stuff that's just next generation faster and it's going to really be the way of the future so Having said that, if the CPU is going to be your main bottleneck, no pun intended, to building the system, that's probably going to indicate you've been able to sort out your GPU situation. Now, GPU situation in terms of availability is not as bad now as it was before. You can find the GPU in stock. The major issue is going to be price. You can go right now and find uh, some of the GPUs that are readily available. For example, uh, 6700 XT, sometimes you find a lot. Sometimes you can even find, you know, a 3080 here or there 6900 xt has been pretty abundantly in stock these are all really in stock because of the price is way too high if you check some of the local stores like micro center they'll have some of these in stock so the game really has changed from a major shortage to just a really high price all right guys so remember to subscribe and smash that like button let me know down below if you plan on getting the new intel chips and i'll see you guys on the next video